New to our inventory is this exceptionally nice 1971 Camaro Supersport. This is a rotisserie restored numbers matching car. And the uh, underneath on this Camaro is just as nice and shiny as the top side. It's painted in a red oxy primer, lots of new parts. Um, you could eat off the undercarriage. Quality car, I mean, you pop that, the hood pops right up. Beautiful job on the inner fenders. Just very correct, you know, yeah. just, how it, just how it would be from the, from the factory. Again, numbers matching, uh, 350, four barrel, numbers matching. Uh, Three-speed automatic transmission, power steering, power brakes. Factory code is uh, 67 for paint, 777 for interior. Looks like they uh, got a new belt on it. Looks like new power steering, pump, and pulleys. Um, man, they just did a nice job. You can see a little overspray paint on the motor, but other than that, the engine compartment, inner fenders and brackets and stuff, they did a nice job painting, didn't they? Everything on this screams Super Sport as far as the Super Sport steering wheel, um, emblems. The 350. Yep, it is a 354 barrel car. I know you mentioned numbers matching, but it was a 354 barrel. Nice. According to the sticker and stuff, saw the factory sticker there. Back of the hood, top of the door and fender line up great here. Love the white stripes. Done beautifully here in the paint, like you mentioned, the, the paint on the top of the hood and fenders is gorgeous. Really nice SS grill. Grill's in great shape, front bumper looks nice. It's got that front chin spoiler, BFG raised white letter tires. Um, we got 14 inch rims, 225, 14s. Um, the correct rally wheels. Gap's great from top to bottom here on the passenger side. Lower fender's perfect. No bubbles, blisters. Um, the door tucks in just a little too much here. It could be adjusted out just a little bit, but um, no bubbles, blisters. As we're talking here in this rear sail area, it's excellent. I don't see any issues in the paint there. Even right here, 90% of them have that crack right there on that yep. lead line. This does yep. not have that. Oh, the roof's beautiful. Paint on the trunk lid's great. Is that rear defrost or a speaker? Rear speaker, like rear factory speaker. And look at the top of the back shelf, top of the back seat. Just beautiful, and I love uh, that tan interior. Yeah. And look you at have... what it's called. It's not parchment, it's just a little darker than parchment. Yeah, it's a pretty unique you know, color. But check out the undercarriage pictures. You gotta look at that, just very, very nice underneath. I mean, everything's painted properly, everything looks brand new. Dual exhaust looks new. Uh, chrome is beautiful even behind there. Paint's nice back there. They did a nice job on it all the way around. Trunk is beautiful as well. I'm sure Dalton's getting the key for that. Our pinch weld and stuff like that there, you can see the inner fenders are all red oxy. Door handles have been replaced. Uh, felts, rubbers, corner of the door is perfect. It's got all the right stoppers. What you got, D? Trunk is very nice. It it's is. Spare, spare jack all in the right As you look spot. here, it's got the red oxy primer here under the speckling, which is correct. Really solid car. Had the jack and everything, right? Yep. The console's beautiful. It's got the correct seat belts with the, the holder in the console. Um, park indicator on the dash work, super sport steering wheel. Painting the door jams is nice, Dalt, but like here and behind here, you can just see it's just a little drier than a couple of the last ones that we did. Mm -hmm. They're really nice. Here's your vehicle uh, safety maintenance schedule. Original AM radio, Delco, so looks brand new, and so does all the black on here. It's just gorgeous. Headliner's nice, and it is the original. The visor's got just a little bit of stitching coming loose here. Original visors, original headliner still, if that tells you anything about the car. 
does have uh, some stitching that's just coming just a little bit loose back here. It's not all the way, but it's coming a little loose. Um, and a couple stains on that original headliner. Uh, seat covers look like they've been replaced. They're, they're too nice to be original. Uh, door panels are original. It's kind of just like it would have been from, from the factory, even down to the, the wheels. You know, they didn't go ahead and put mm, aftermarket wheels on. It's got I the like the wheels things. entire combination on I this do one. Too. It's got a great stance. It's our last video of the day. What did we do today? 66 GTO, this 71 Camaro SS, 70 Nova Resto Mod. Yeah. What was the last one? El Camino. Yeah, 69 Big Block 396 El Camino. Bottom of the door fits nice. A couple little tiny little specks in there, a couple of kind of dirt specks on that lower quarter. You can see the pinch welds. I don't really see much for chips anywhere on it. Uh-uh. Lower fender's great. There's one chip right there. Door handles are great. Again, felts, corner of the doors are rust free. Was a factory Z Bart, it looks like. Speaking of that being a factory Z Bart. They must have just scraped all the factory undercoat off this thing. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of work. Yeah. To get the floors looking like that. Yep. Um, heater fan works. Let's see if the dome light works. The dome light needs a ball. Radio does not work, but like I said, factory radio and they did a nice job leaving that looking 100%. Um, one other thing, we have a fuel gauge, um, I'm sorry, fuel sending unit coming for it. So fuel gauge is not working. Park indicator works perfect. So basically, dome light and uh, dome light radio and fuel gauge, which fuel gauge we will fix. This thing sounds hey, nice. Did you hear that? What? I think that might be the radio jiggling on a little bit. What? Yeah, I just heard some little static. You just keep her going. Might just need to... Might need a bump. Yeah, might need to hit a bump. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. You sure you weren't hearing things? I could have been. But I heard like a in that rear speaker. We'll give it time. This phenomenon works perfect. There's brakes. I think we did yeah. put a new master cylinder on it. On this one? Yeah. Uh, we might have. Yeah, I believe we did. Okay. Brakes work perfect. Speedometer works good. Goes down the road perfect. There's no hands on the wheel at all time. Four barrel. There's your four barrel, right? Yep. Windows roll up easy. Look at that. Yeah, now she's good. Huh? That's 75. Transmission shifts good, downshift works. It is a good car. Um, like Dustin mentioned, it has just a little bit of tire vibration on it. Yeah, it might be balanced. You know, probably. just a little bit. You can just, I don't know if you can't even see it, you can just feel it just a little bit. Um, and a lot of it, I think, is just from sitting. Yeah. You know, if, if they sit over the winter. Um, yeah. Here's your brakes. Stop great. I don't know about you. I'm going to my window. I know it's hot. <laughs> Funny that it's so February, so damn hot February 22nd or whatever, and it's hotter than hell. Yeah. Up. On this day last year, we had about three foot of snow. Did we? Or a couple years ago, we had about three foot of snow. We're in a serious drought right now. Yeah. What else you got to say about this Camaro? It's a good. One. It's comfortable. I'll tell you that. Seats are comfortable. Paint's beautiful. Runs and drives freaking fantastic. All four of the cars we had today, freaking run awesome. Nice shift. Nice. There's nothing better than that sound of a four barrel carburetor opening up. It drives nice. I mean, it really does. Excellent. Yeah, check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.